In this video, we're going to talk about interior and exterior angles in polygons, some which are regular polygons, some which are not regular polygons, and we're going to go through the formulas that are involved with solving these problems. We're going to go through six examples, and let's start off by talking about some of the formulas first. So, if you want to find the sum of all the interior angles, all the angles on the inside of a polygon, use this formula here, n minus 2 times 180. So, n represents the number of sides or the number of angles. Those are going to be the same. And you just have to subtract 2 and then multiply by 180, and that gives you the total of all those interior angles. Whereas with the exterior angles, these are the angles that are on the outside of the polygon, all those angles are always going to add up to 360 degrees. No matter whether it's a regular polygon or not a regular polygon, the exterior angles always add up to 360. Now, when you look at a polygon, just to show you real quick, let's say this is your polygon. At each vertex, if you were just to extend one of the sides, that angle there is an exterior angle. Same thing here, if I was to extend either this side or this side, either one, that's an exterior angle. So you have one exterior angle at each vertex or at each corner, if you will, of the polygon. So all those angles would add up to 360. This formula here is the same as this formula here, you can notice, but we're dividing by n. And this is how you'd find the measure of just one interior angle in a regular polygon. Now remember, with regular polygons, all the angles are the same, all the sides are the same. And this last one here, 360, just like this formula, all the exterior angles add up to 360. But if it's a regular polygon, by dividing by the number of exterior angles or by the number of sides, they're going to be the same, you can find out the measure of just one of those exterior angles. So let's go ahead and uh, dive into some of these examples. Number one, how would you find out what these angles are right here? Well, you can see they're the same. They're both x. But the first thing we have to figure out is, are these interior angles or are they exterior angles? Well, you can see they're on the inside. They're interior. And we know that all these angles are going to add up to n minus 2 times 180. Well, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 angles, so it's going to be 5 minus 2 times 180 degrees. So that's going to be 3 times 180, which is 540 degrees total. So if we add these up, 90 plus 150 plus 90 plus x plus x, that has to equal 540, and we can write an equation. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see, 90 plus 90 is 180, plus 100 is 280, plus 50 is 330. So that's 330 plus 2x equals the total of the interior angles, 540. If we subtract 330 from both sides, we get 210 equals 2x. And if we divide both sides by 2, we get x equals 105 degrees. And that's the measure of both of these angles. Okay, let's go to number 2 now. So for number 2, what we have is we have, see these marks here, all these sides are congruent. This is a regular hexagon, because there's six sides, six angles. All the angles are the same measure, all the sides are the same length. But what we want to do is we want to find out what the exterior angle measure is and what the interior angle measure is. So let's go ahead and find the exterior angle first. We know all the exterior angles add up to 360, but if we divide by how many we have, which in this case is going to be 6, we get 60 degrees. So that's the measure of just this exterior angle here, 60. Now to find the interior angle, you can see how this forms a straight line right here. So if this angle is 60, this angle on the inside must be 180 minus 60. They form a linear pair. So that means that y is going to equal 120 degrees. Now the other way to do it is to use this formula right here. And we can say uh, n minus 2, so that would be 6 minus 2, since there's six angles here, uh, times 180. So that gives us 720, so that's the sum of all the interior angles, but then we're dividing by the six interior angles, so 720 divided by 6 equals 120, the same thing we got here. So sometimes it's easier to use this formula and then just subtract from 180 to find the interior angle, just a little bit quicker. For number 3 now, what do you think for this one? Well, it looks like we're given the exterior angles here. And we know that all those exterior angles add up to 360. Now, this is not a regular polygon. All the sides and all the angles are not the same, but they always add up to 360. So let's just make an equation here. 90 plus 90 is 180, plus 150 is 330, 
plus x equals 360 degrees. So if we subtract 330 from both sides, you can see that x, this missing angle here, would be a 30 degree angle. Okay, number four, five, and six, these are like word problems. See if you can do these on your own and we'll go through them. Uh, number four says, name the regular polygon with interior angles that sum to 2,880 degrees. Okay, so basically they're telling us all those angles on the inside of the polygon add up to 2,880. So we wanna use this formula right here. It's gonna be N minus two times 180 equals the total of the interior angles which they tell us is 2,880 degrees. So you can do this a couple different ways. You could distribute the 180 like this, or you can divide both sides by 180. I'll just distribute. So this is 180 N minus 360 equals 2,880. If we add 360 to both sides, that gives us 180 N equals, let's do this on the calculator, two, 880 plus 360, so that's 3240. And if we divide both sides by 180, that comes out to 18. So that means this is an 18 gon, okay? Meaning it has 18 angles or 18 sides, and it's a regular 18 gon. Okay, for number five now, it says name the regular polygon, so another regular one, that has an exterior angle of 30 degrees. Okay, so Let's use this formula over here. If we want to find the measure of just one exterior angle, it comes out to 360 divided by N equals the measure of that exterior angle, which in this case they tell us is 30 degrees. So what we can do here is we can think of this as 30 over one, and we can cross multiply on the diagonal. So this is the cross product property. So 30 times N equals 360 times one, which is 360. And if we divide both sides by 30, uh, N comes out to 12, so you could say this is a 12 gon, or this is also called a dodecagon. Okay, dodecagon. Decagon is 10 sides, dodecagon 12. And then number six here, it says name the regular polygon that has an interior angle of 170. Now, sometimes I like to change up the problem a little bit. Like if we know the interior angle is 170, how much is the exterior angle? Well, just like we were talking about in a previous problem, there are supplementary, the interior angle and the exterior angle, which means that the exterior angle would be 10, and we can use this formula just like we did in this last problem. But in this case, I'm gonna use this formula right here, uh, the measure of an interior angle. So it's N minus two times 180 divided by the number of interior angles equals the measure of one of those interior angles. Now what we can do is we can also do the cross product. So 170 N equals 180 times n minus two, because anything times one is itself. Let's distribute the 180, so that comes out to 180n minus 360 equals 170n. Let's subtract the 180n, that'll give us negative 10n equals negative 360. And if we divide by negative 10, n comes out to 36. So that means that this is a 36 gon, meaning it has 36 sides or 36 angles. If you wanna see more examples, Follow me over to that video right there where we dive into some more examples similar to these so you can get some more practice. I'll see you over in that video.